Hi, I'm Jason Webster, Beck Cybers, Practical Farm Research Innovation Lead. Today we are just west of Peoria, Illinois, matter of fact near Princeville, and we're doing some practical farm research, uh, agronomic trials involving cover crops. You know, cover crops are one of the biggest trends in the agricultural industry right now, and our PFR team's out here in the field doing some agronomic work, seeing if cover crops can offer some value to us out here in the field. Today we're using a high clearance rig to actually interseed cover crops. Now, why do we want to test cover crops? Well, we think they can do some, some beneficial things for us. Number one, I think it'll help us control erosion on some of these fields that have uh, different slopes, different elevations. Maybe we put a cover crop in place, that fibrous root system, to hold that soil in place. Maybe we look at cover crops such as radishes, that tap root, um, a root system to maybe drill through soil density layers or compaction out there in the field. Ryegrass with that big fibrous root system may uh, help us uh, do that as well. And maybe one of the things we want to look at is nutrient sequestration. Can a cover crop that we plant uh, during the season hold nutrients for next year's corn or soybean crop? Those are the types of things that we want to monitor with cover crops. So today we're going out in the field with the high clearance rig. This is our Air Scout, uh, Air Scout edition from Sutton Farms. I want to thank Brian and Danny uh, uh, Sutton for bringing this rig to us. This is a Hagee that has a air box on it and we're using air to bring in a dry cover crop seed through these hoses. They're on 30 inch centers. We're going to bring it all the way down to the bottom of the, uh, to, uh, bottom of the canopy on top of the soil surface, scatter the cover crop on the seed. We're doing this in a standing corn crop uh, today. We can also do it in a soy, uh, standing soybean uh, crop as well. But we're doing it interseeding wise today, trying to get a, a, a jump on things, trying to get it established. So once we do come in and harvest in about three or four weeks, that cover crop will be there waiting for us. It'll already be established. Once we remove the crop by way of harvest, we'll be able to get sunlight um, and it'll be able to take advantage of whatever uh, growing season we have left. But the point is we've already got it established. We've got to jump on things. We can't wait to bring you the results from this cover crop agronomic study that we're currently doing with this Hagee interseeder. We'll bring you the results through our annual Practical Farm Research publication that we'll release shortly after the harvest season. We can't wait to get the data to you to tell you the story of what worked and what didn't uh, with this particular agronomic trial. You can also go to our website at bexhybrids.com, click on the Practical Farm Research tab, and you can see all of the agronomic studies that we're currently doing within our Practical Farm Research program. Stay tuned for more details. We'll bring it to you through our annual Practical Farm Research publication. Thank you so much for watching.